the wee hours of the morning and I'm not able to sleep. I thought I would drop you an update on the situation we're facing as we leave for Burundi later this evening. Mike Scalfa is now out of Burundi and into Uganda. We are attempting to reach his friends there who can get a doctor to him. I do not know his condition. Also, I don't know his mother's condition. The last word I had was that they had taken her off all the machines. Tex and I are well aware of what we are facing when we arrive in Burundi. Evil men who are ready to do us harm await us, and disease lurks in the unseen places. I've told Tex that she doesn't have to go. She's a real sweetheart and quite a soldier of the Lord. I have struggled with allowing her to go with me. At this point, we feel that she should go with me. It's easier for me to put my life on the line for the Lord, but it's much more difficult to allow her to do the same. Some may wonder why we're continuing to forge ahead when we know that danger and disease are waiting for us. My life verse is Philippians 1, 20, 21. I, I don't want to be ashamed in anything, but I just want Christ to be honored in my life whether it's by life, sickness, or death. If we go into Burundi and we are unharmed, I believe that we will see thousands come to the knowledge of our Savior and He will be glorified. If we go into Burundi and we get sick, or we are harmed or worse, what price is that to pay? He gave His all for us. We have counted the cost. We will move forward in the name of the Lord and pray that He is honored in all things. For me to read a, an email saying, my wife and I are going into a place from which we may not come out alive. And for that to register with, with us as maybe being something, that can't really be real. Because our whole world consists of our refrigerator, our living room, our bank where we deposit our check. Not even, not, not even phasing us, maybe, that um, people literally around the world are being put to death for the freedom in Jesus that we take so for granted. mother is here in San Antonio in critical condition in a hospital with, in a coma. And uh, on top of that, Sammy and Tex, he says there are still more problems. When I got ready to leave San Antonio, I found on my desk a document from the U.S. State Department warning Americans to leave Burundi. And here they're, they're arriving there for an evangelistic crusade. Evidently, Americans have been targeted by some of the warring factions and terrorist groups. When I spoke with Mike on the phone a few moments ago, he told me that Joseph, our GLIA, God's Love and Action Coordinator, had encountered three men where he was staying. Now listen to this. They came to the room demanding $3,000. They said that they knew that I was coming to town, would have lots of money. They said that I would have to pay them $3,000 if we didn't want anything to happen. Yesterday morning about 7.30, I received a phone call. It was our friend Sammy Tippett who was calling and he was preparing and today actually to meet Martin in 10 day in London. Sammy called and said, Dave, I, I feel before Martin leaves that I need to explain a few things to him. He said, our crusade in Burundi has been threatened with violence. In essence, we've been blackmailed by people who say that unless we give them a certain sum of money, they will not allow the crusade to happen. He said, I think maybe what you need to do is to call Martin, who we commissioned last Sunday, and just tell him that if he wants to stay home, that I would understand. He said, Tex and I are going to go. We've ordered extra security. We've met with the government officials there. And but he said it's an extremely volatile situation. The State Department has really closed it for Americans. But he said, I just have to go in. 
Because there's people there that unless they meet Jesus Christ will die and spend eternity in hell. I could sense in the seriousness of his voice that this was big stuff. Because this is a man who has been imprisoned in Romania and Russia and has no fear. And I could sense this urgency. I told him, I said, Sammy, our people Sunday morning will set aside some time and we're going to pray for you and we're going to pray for Martin as well that God will just use you. And so church, on our knees, let's go to prayer right now and let's ask God to do a work. And I want us to intercede and ask God to just do a work right there and protect these men and to give them an amazing sense of your presence that his angels will surround them and they'll see souls come to faith in you. I'm Sammy Tippett, and I just want to share with you on this video that our God is a God who answers the prayers of his people. When we went to Burundi, we really didn't know what to expect. We knew that it was going to be difficult to get into the country, and when Mike Scalf got sick, it was even more difficult getting him out. But we knew that God wanted us there, and we had that promise. We went into the country, and we brought Hutus and Tutsis who had been fighting each other. They were staying in different refugee camps. We brought them together under the banner of the cross. People are hungry for the word of God. We need the force of God to, to be able to go on. There were a lot of concerns that we had. Of course, security concerns were at the very top of the list. But we learned that God is our protector.